Hello friends, my name is Shashank and welcome back to my channel Corporate Guy and today in this video we are going to learn how to create the database for incident management system and this is the very first video in this series of videos in which we will learn how to create incident management system using the Microsoft Power Suite which includes SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. So the SharePoint will be used as a database for the incident management system which can be used to create power app and also to create power bi dashboard at later stage so this video in this video we will learn how to create a simple list to which can be served as a database with millions of millions of rows which you can use and dump that data in the SharePoint site. So for that you must have a SharePoint site and I assume that you already have a SharePoint site and if you note if you don't have a SharePoint site we will uh, explain that in a separate video how to create a SharePoint site but let's assume that you already have a SharePoint site and you know the basics of SharePoint. So even if you don't know, just create a SharePoint site and then this is the home page which you will see the moment you open your SharePoint site and on the top uh, left hand side you have this button which says new. So when you press on the new you will have a list option. So list is just a kind of a simple Excel spreadsheet with uh, options to create columns where you can store data in rows, right? So we will just create a list which will be served as a database. So let's create a new list and name it uh, uh, whatever name you want to give that list uh, to be used as a database. So there are multiple options, right? If you already have an existing list which you want to use at or you, uh, you want to rename it or edit it, customize it, you can just use the existing list. If you have an Excel sheet which you want to just upload it and then turn, convert those values into SharePoint list, that can also be possible. If you have a CSV file with column header you can also use that but for the ease of understanding we are starting with the blank list that will uh, really help us to understand how to create a list in SharePoint so incident management uh, system I'm going to uh, use this name for this list so let's hit create and now it will create a very basic a SharePoint list and every SharePoint list starts with the first default column that is the title. So title is the basic and the default uh, column which you will get in every SharePoint list. So if you press on this drop down arrow you will see the column settings where you can go and rename the column. So I'm going to use this title of incident. So title of incident can be a single line where you can just see uh, say that what happened in that incident. It it can be a, a mobile uh, mobile theft it can be a vehicle accident whatever you want to write in a single line which just give a gist of the incident so the first column is title of incident and the second column which i want to add is the date of incident right when that incident happened so these are the very basic columns which which all incident uh, forms or apps or systems include date of incident right so if you want to include time as well you can just press time yes and it will also include time in that so we have two columns title of incident date of incident and then i want to add location where that incident happened so let's assume that you already have uh, defined locations which you can use them in the incident side incident management system or if you don't have any defined locations, you can just keep the text field where people can put random values right so let's say you already have uh, defined uh, location so I'm using that as a choice column so where that incident happened let's assume that you have four zones in which you want to see that in which zone the incident happened right so let's say location location is the let say zone one right and then it is the zone two zone 3 and zone 4 you can add as many choices as you want so let's 
uh, stop with the zone 4 so we have four zones which can be used as to define the location of the incident right and then you can just further drill down with the another column sub location or exact location or the place where the incident happened right so the title of incident date of incident location and then next is the who reported that incident so it can be a person which means that if you use this option it will pick uh, employee names from the microsoft 365 users list if you don't want to use that you can just simply use text field which where you can type in the name of the person who reported that incident so let's start with the text where you can just type in the name so reported reported by right so save it so now we have four columns title of incident date of incident location reported by and then the type of incident that what type of incident uh, was that so i am defining these into three categories type of incident uh, is let's say it involved people where there kind of some kind of assault happened right or it can be property where some kind of uh, theft happened of the property or vandalism or any kind of sabotage right or it involved both of them so i'm using three options people property or both right so we have uh, five columns now so now next column i'm going to use is the category of incident that what category of that of incident was that so category of incident so let us say if that was a theft incident you can use theft if it was a assault so use it uh, assault right using very basic examples theft assault uh, sabotage all right or it could be a um, uh, traffic and traffic related incident right or it could be a uh, recovery of any kind of uh, lo uh, stolen item right uh, okay so it can be recovery it can be apprehension right apprehension so just the basic examples right so apprehension so these are the basic uh, categories which i have just used here for the ease of understanding so we have type of incident we have category of incident and the next is i'm going to use the description or the brief of incident so that we can define uh, give a story what happened right so brief of incident okay so it is going to be a multiple line of text right so that you can just add multiple lines of uh, paragraphs or whatever you want to use right so this is the brief of incident on non the next column which i'm going to add is again the multiple lines of text which is going to be actions taken so what did you what what actions was taken when the incident was reported or when you started the investigations right so these are the columns here so next is i'm going to use that again a uh, choice column which will define the status of the incident that where that uh, what is the status of that incident whether the incident is still open or whether you have uh, closed it right or with your closing remarks whatever the uh, remarks you're going to put in right so action taken status open or close and the next is date when that incident was closed closed on okay so if that incident happened on 18th and it was closed on 19th so you can use these two dates right so include time if you want to if you don't want to include time just leave it as a date so we have these columns right <clears throat> title of incident date of incident location reported by type of incident uh, category of incident brief of incident action taken status closed on and there are multiple columns as well which are hidden which you can uh, also unhide and show them in your list so let us say if you go to the all items and if you go to the format current view you will see all those columns which are actually not uh, being shown here but still are available right so uh, let us say edit current view so if you go to the edit current view you will see that uh, whatever the columns you have not used are available here let us say um, id so id is a column which generates a numerical value every time you add a new 
uh, row in that um, uh, list so you can use this id as a unique value also in the later stage to see uh, to give it as an incident number right and there are a few other columns like created by or created on so we will see that uh, okay so created by if you have given access to everybody and you want to see keep a track of who is reporting more incidents or not you can use this column created by or created on or the date of creation right so you can just uh, do a little bit of uh, you know experimentation here to see whatever you want to see on the SharePoint list right so now we have this blank database SharePoint list and if you just want to go ahead with that you can also do that just go to the new option and it will open up uh, as a form which you can use to report incidents right so let us say if I start with the test and then I use a date of incident whatever date you want to uh, <clears throat> uh, use here let's say 17th of October and the location was zone 1 reported by Shashank and the type of incident was uh, people and the category of incident was assault and the brief of incident was test and the action taken was test and the status is uh, still open and if I just press save it will be saved as a new entry in the SharePoint list so this will serve as a database for you and then later on you can also export it as a excel file or export it to as a power bi to create a visualization or a chart or a dashboard to see that the trend of incident right the type of incident date of incident or in a period of uh, one month or two month how many incidents in a particular category is happening what is the you know status of all those inc incidents you can use that everything using the power bi so this is uh, the first step on creating the incident management system where we have just created our first database and in the next video we are going to use this database to create a three screen power app right which you can just give to your team members where they can log incidents on the go they can access it on the mobile phone and then log incidents those incidents will be saved in the SharePoint list integrated with the Power BI dashboard to visualize the things and also notify the you know important people that new incident has been logged right so that uh, everybody is aware that there is a new incident has been logged so that they are based on the severity uh, if you also want to add a new column here the severity you can also add that let us say we add a new column here uh, and put it as a choice column so let us say name it is severity so what is the severity of that incident if it is a, a routine incident it was let's say it was just a routine activity or let us say it is just a level one incident level one is where there is no loss of people or property level two where there is a, some kind of incident happened where there is a you know, medical injury or some kind of theft happened or some amount or threshold amount has been stolen let's say 10,000 rupees has been stolen so you can put it in a level 2 category and level 3 can be uh, there is some kind of you know, loss of human life or you know, uh, damage to company's property which is beyond you know 30,000 or 50,000 so you can define levels at what level defines what so level 1 level 2 level 3 so you can uh, automate this dashboard as well that only when there is a level 2 or level 3 incident the superiors will be notified about that incident and they will get an email uh, with the details of incident so they can just immediately get in touch with the ground team who has logged the incident right so all these things can be done at the later stage so this is the first step which we have just completed by creating a simple database in the form of sharepoint list i hope that you have learned something new today and if yes then please don't forget to subscribe this channel and become a member of this channel to learn more about uh, these uh, automations which you can do in, our, in your day to day activities to you know uh, bring productivity and bring automation in your routine jobs so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching this video